Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. It is Friday. Oh, it's been a hard week for President Trump. <laughs> a lot of bad news. He learned, uh, he learned some more stuff about how his buddies uh, Michael Cohen and Michael Flynn are working with Mueller. And now he might lose his last remaining Mike, Pence. Because <laughs> earlier this week, Trump hosted a 2020 strategy meeting with his advisors among the topics discussed whether Mike Pence should remain on the ticket. Okay? <laughs> this is a major failure. If he gets dropped, That'll be a major failure of Mike Pence's time-tested political strategy, be so boring people forget you exist. <laughs> okay? He is a manila envelope wow. taped to a beige wall. The campaign has done polling that shows that Pence doesn't expand Trump's coalition. With advisors telling the president, he doesn't detract from it, but he doesn't add anything either. Okay? Doesn't add doesn't detract. He's, he's, uh, he's just garnish. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. he's, like, he's like parsley that doesn't like gay people. <laughs> now, wow. if... Wow. My apologies to parsley. Now, <laughs> if Pence... Come on, parsley. If Pence... If Pence does get fired, he could still have a role in politics. He could return uh, uh, among his fellow white walkers and become the vice night king. <laughs> or... He could just go back to his old job. I think it was uh, off-white paint swatch, <laughs> sun-faded department store mannequin, <laughs> ghost of a plain yogurt. <laughs> of course, there's another major figure who might not make it to 2020, uh, the Earth. Because according to a new climate research, greenhouse gas emissions are accelerating like a speeding freight train. Okay, now it's a complicated report, but they put it out in a children's book, the little engine that could kill us all. <laughs> I, th I think we're doomed. 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 <laughs> so how serious is this? Well, apparently the world is on pace to release a record 37.1 gigatons of planet warming emissions in 2018, which is roughly 100,000 times the weight of the Empire State Building. You know, I really appreciate it when they put climate change into common everyday metrics that average folks can understand. <laughs> Empire State Building weights. <laughs> My gratitude for that metaphor is 17 times the dreams of a goldfish. <laughs> the climate change. <laughs> Thank you. 17 times. And climate change is already having an impact on Santa and his reindeer. Because 100 miles north of the Arctic Circle, there's still not enough snow for reindeer to begin their annual migration. So the reindeer are doing their part. Rudolph even replaced his nose. <laughs> and if this keeps up, Santa's gonna have to convert his sleigh over to animals that do much better in hot weather. <laughs> on Lanky, on Necky, on Tolly, on Becky.